Hello there folks. This quick video here is going to show you how to create a multi-tag. And by multi-tag, what I mean by that is we might have a register in our PLC. For example, in this case, I've got a N7 colon 000 register in an Allen Bradley PLC. And when that particular register shows diff these different numbers right here, I would like for this text here to be displayed for the operator so they can see this instead of these numbers. So in this case, we're going to use what's called a multi-tag to display the status of the motor here. So in Crimson uh, 3, if I go over to the left side and go to Data Tags on the left side, and let's create just a simple numeric tag by clicking the New button up here, and I get a new uh, blue X tag 1. I'm going to rename this guy Motor underscore status, for instance. Don't forget to hit enter when you type. And on motor status, I'm going to map this to the N7 register in the Allen Bradley. So out here where it says source internal, hit the little pole down here. And you can see down here, I've already got a PLC configured to this in Allen Bradley here. <clears throat> when I click on that guy, I can go down to the N integers here, and I can click the OK button. And now this particular tag happens to be mapped to the N7 uh, 000 registers. If I go to the format tab here, go to the format tab, and down here where it says format type general, hit the pick button right here. And in this case, we're going to choose what's called a multi state because we want it to show text for the value instead of just the, the number. So we'll click multi state here and click OK. And notice now that you get this section here called format control and the different states. Once again, if I go back to that little spreadsheet I've got here, move this guy over here real quick. You can see here this guy's got basically it's got six different states. Zero through five is six different states. So I'm going to click over here and on this edit button to the right of the number three here, I'll click on that and I'll put a number six in there and I'll hit OK. You can see this column right here is going to be our six different states. So I'll put this one's going to be zero, this one will be one. This one will be two, this one here will be three, enter. I'll go four here, enter, and I'll go five here. That corresponds to the numbers that we've got right here, zero, one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to try to leave this here, or I'll come back to it. But I can see that state zero is going to be motor stopped right here. So I'm going to type right here where it says S1, motor space stopped. And then I'll bring up that spreadsheet again. The next one is run motor, so I'll put here run motor, right there. I'll pull up that sheet again. I've got jog motor is number two, so I'll put right here jog, oops, jog motor, enter, pull up that sheet again. Number three is increase speed, so I'll click right here, increase speed. Number four, I know, is actually decrease speed. And then number five, let's see here, number five is going to be pause motor. So I'll click here. Okay, so as long as the N7 register equals any of these particular six different states, number zero through five, this is the text that should show up. Now, if I happen to have that register be some other number that does, does not match exactly those numbers, I'm going to want to put something here. So where it says default, this is an undeclared state, I will say uh, undefined, I can't spell fine, defined state here. All right. So that takes care of that. Now, if I want to show this on the screen, all I have to do is go to display pages on the left go to the right side and simply drag the motor status status out here on the screen like that. However, on this particular value, I'm going to make uh, this box a little bigger by grabbing it and just stretching it like that. I don't want to see the actual tag name. I just want to see this value here, for instance. So if I click on this guy one time, I have two methods or two ways to do this. I can right click and I can go to data and make it show just the data value right here. That'll show the data value. Or you can right click on the thing and go to properties. And it's the same thing right here where it says contents data value. Uh, you can change that from label and data and make it just be data value. And then it will just show you that particular value in the PLC. Now, if I want to test this particular value just to see the difference or how it operates, 
I've created a tag here that mimics the N7 register in the Allen Bradley PLC. Here's the one we just created. Maybe I'll move this over just a little bit like this. And I'll, maybe I'll make this guy a little bigger font and I'll bold it. And now I'm going to go ahead and download this to my Make Believe HMI here. And you can see there's motor stopped when the value is zero. If I hit this and just manually put in a number, you can see when I go to number one, it shows run motor. If I put in number two, this is the status of that register. You can see jog. If I go to number three, it's going to show increased speed. If I pull up that spreadsheet we're looking at, this guy right here, look at those numbers there. They correspond when that register is number three. It shows increased speed and so forth. Now, if I happen to put a number in, we only defined states zero through five. So if I happen to put number six in here, notice it says undefined state. If we happen to have some other strange number in that register that's not one of the ones we defined, it will say this the whole time. And then once we come back within the range of 0 to 5, it will show the actual state. So that's a quick example, folks, of how to use the multi-state tag to show text instead of just a number. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.